Getting a smooth drum roll takes consistent practice, but you have to make sure you have the right technique. Now I play match grip, which means both my hands are identical in the way I hold my sticks. To get the grip just right, you need to maintain the natural shape of your hand. First, place the stick between your thumb and just above the knuckle of your first finger. From there, we're just going to place our other fingers gently on the bottom of the stick. The stick should sit right in the pocket of your hand, extending just beyond your wrist. Make sure both hands are identical. I'm going to demonstrate two types of rolls today. The closed or buzz roll and the open or double stroke roll. First, let's focus on the closed or the buzz roll. So what you want to do is you want to play on the drum just above the center. You're going to drop your stick down and let it bounce as many times as it does. Mine usually bounces around seven times. Now what you want to do is practice letting each stick overlap each other. So I'm going to drop my first stick, but before it finishes bouncing, I'm going to start my other stick. Once you can do this comfortably, keep alternating sticks and try and get them to overlap each other the whole time. Now you can move this roll around the drum to get different sound effects, like this. Next, let's talk about the open roll, or the double stroke roll. So we're going to use a very similar technique that we did to the closed roll. We're going to hold our sticks in the identical way just like we did the first time. We're going to drop our sticks and let gravity take over. However, this time, instead of letting the stick bounce as many times as it will, we're going to stop it after the second bounce. So it's like this. Work on the bounces of each hand individually at first. Then try to play the double bounces consecutively. Now let's just constantly alternate doubles. One advantage that the double stroke roll has over the closed roll is it has a very distinct rhythm. So we can mix it in with different accents, with different rolls, and we can hear everything in time. For instance, there's what we call the five stroke roll, which is a double with each hand followed by a single. We have what's called the seven stroke roll, which is three sets of doubles followed by a single. the nine stroke roll, which is four sets of doubles followed by a single. And so on. Once you're comfortable with these doubles, you can mix them in with your paradiddles, your drum fills, move them all over the place. You can also have different sound effects with the double stroke roll, just like we did with the closed roll. concludes today's lesson on drum rolls. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. You can also visit my website at www.mcgoverndrums.com.